I'm going to be uh, working from um, the lesser video to the very best of my finds. So it's going to be good, better, best. <laughs> So um, let's go ahead and look at what I found. Went to a garage sale and it was just a series of boxes out on the pavement and I, they said they had jewelry. I went ahead and looked around and uh, for 25 cents each I got this single earring. It is 14 karat. It weighs 0.74 grams and that um, translates to $18. For a 25 cent investment this is a 925 sterling silver chain it weighs 9.35 grams that uh, equates to four dollars then i went to a garage sale and there really wasn't very much um, at this garage sale but there was a little makeshift table and there was this plastic um container with all this jewelry in it and i'm looking through it so how much is the jewelry and i hadn't even noticed but when i flipped it down it was two dollars for the entire container and then there was this little box so this little pin of a rooster uh, was 25 cents there is no mark on it but it just looks so cute and reminds me of kind of like the 60s um with this kind of um orangey and burgundy stones um i got this because i was thinking there has to be something good in all that and I'm gonna go through it and then I'm gonna show you what I did. So obviously I was looking for gold and silver. So there was a lot of little bits there. In this, uh, there was these earrings. So there's a lot of stuff from the 70s and 80s and 90s. So there's a pair of those. Um, some of these little metal ones, sorry. There's some of these black and white. Let's go on to this next one. There's a whole lot of earring backs. So for all my missing earring backs, I now have something. There are these. Definitely 70s, 80s. Um, along with these. Over here, we have some little dangly ones there. Uh, some, some hoops. Little black earrings there. Big time 80s there. American flag pin and some kind of earrings there. What all else is in here? Some of these earrings. I remember wearing some like this in the 80s. Oops, sorry, it goes like that. Okay. Whole bunch of little pearl studs. Uh, here are some that are Kind of a plastic design there. Some other earrings. This is a cuter set. Um, there's these clip-on earrings. There's no mark. There's two earrings, and then there is a little brooch. There are two, pardon me, my hand's in there. There are some of these that are like fake amber, but there's they're pins. There is no mark on them, but there are two of those. And there is one of these. There are some cloisonne earrings. There's a pair that looks like this. And there's a pair like this. I swear I've seen necklaces like that. There was a little pin in there. I thought this was cute. It's a little um, rhinestone pin again not marked the only costume jewelry in here that was marked is this is crown trafari little acorns and oak leaves there and from all of that i pulled out this so this is my chicken scratch so here these are a 10 carat pair of earrings and this little back which i've tested them all uh, 2.67 grams which is 46 dollars and 51 cents at 1300 dollars um per uh per ounce and then all of this and i'm gonna move it over all of this earring backs a couple of si uh, single earrings and this one wasn't even marked i had to test it to tell what it was but all of these little bits and pieces i'm sorry there was one piece of sterling that's not counted so all of those amounted to 5.11 grams uh, including the like the pearl and the any stones in there 
uh, $124.59. So from a $2.25, and this is actually $2, for a $2 investment, it's $171. Um, obviously, if I sell, when I sell the scrap, it's going to be um, less than that. If I go to a refinery, it'd be like 90%, 85%. But still, that's incredibly good for a $2 investment. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be looking out for the next one, which is going to be the better one. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.